Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless God so much for the gift of another day and also for the gift of life. We are so thankful unto you, O God. Thank you for your protection, your deliverance, O God, your guidance and your provision, O God, upon our lives. We give you glory. Today, too, we pray that you speak to us through your word so we'll know you better, so we'll understand you better. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We will take our devotional reading from Philippians chapter 3, the verses 12 to 14. Philippians 3, 12 to 14. The heading says, Pressing towards the goal. Pressing towards the goal. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection. But I press on to possess the perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Brethren in the Lord, this is Paul writing to the Philippian church. And we all know that um, the Philippian book is, or the letter is one of Paul's prison letters. And he was in prison though, but he was counseling, advising the church. And so he wanted them to know that he is advising them, not that he has already achieved or he has already arrived. No. But he says that he presses on, he presses on towards perfection. So in this world, no one is perfect. I can offend you, you can offend me, but we need to forgive ourselves and move forward. We do not capitalize on somebody's weakness and condemn the person. We need to pray for each other, even as Paul is advising them to do. And that he says, no, he says, we, he's, not, he's not perfect, but he's pressing on towards the goal. And it's through this that Jesus Christ has possessed us. He has bought us with his, with his blood, that stainless blood, that powerful blood, so that he will lead us through the path of righteousness. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. So, as children of God, we forget the past, and we press on towards the goal. What is your goal in life? What are you, where are you heading towards? What is your plan? How is your Christian life going? Do you really know the Lord? If you know the Lord, then let's allow him to help us grow in him. May we not always condemn others, but rather care for each and every one. Be our brother's keeper. When we see that things are not going well, instead of judging, let's pray. And if we are near the person, let's advise the person, just as Paul is advising us. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. So, we press on towards the goal. We press on towards the goal. We focus on going forward rather than going backwards. We press towards the goal. We humble ourselves that the Lord will continue to teach us, to lead us, to help us and see us through. Jesus is calling us to allow him or he's asking us to allow him to have his way. If you only will allow him, because he says he stands at the door of our hearts and he's knocking. If anyone opens the door for him, he will come in and sup with us and we with him. And as we sup with the Lord, he, he plants into us, he gives us what he wants to give us. As we fellowship with him, as we listen to his word, as we pray, once we are around him, he also shows up dines with us, shares the word with us, and then 
He empowers us to do more for Him. May the Lord empower you, even as we humble ourselves before Him and press on towards the goal. May the Lord come to our aid, empower us for His service. God richly bless you. Please share the word and ask them also to subscribe. And God will bless all of us as we do His work. We'll meet again tomorrow too. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.